So, welcome back. Like, comment, share, and please, please subscribe. You know, I'm not, sounds like I'm begging. I'm not begging. But at the same time, uh, I want to grow this channel. I want to keep doing these videos. But if ultimately, really, nobody's that interested in terms of subscribers, there's going to be a point where there's probably not much point doing it. But I enjoy doing it. So, if you can bring yourself to press the subscribe button, please feel free. The content will keep coming and obviously it will just give me more incentive to do more videos. Maybe, you know, make a comment. Tell me what, it's, as I said before, you like, what you don't like or what you want to see. It doesn't have to necessarily stay as food reviews, although um, a lot of places in terms of, of genuine reviews don't exist. So I, I definitely think this has got its place. But anyway, um, Burger King and the experience of Just Eat again, so back to Just Eat, not Deliveroo this time. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back to Deliveroo, the, the cost is just too much. Um, the delivery experience for Just Eat was fine, you know, not fast because it was Burger King, not slow, just consistent, which I think is the main uh, aim of any business is to be consistent, you know, give or take. So the meal, Burger King, everybody's been there, but I thought was the delivery exclusive, which is the barbecue double stacker XL bacon with three onion rings. I didn't know they did exclusives or um, delivery only as they say on the apps, or app, sorry, is just for the delivery. So I thought, why not? Let, let's go for that. See if it's any different to any of the other burgers. Obviously it's more like a uh, bacon double cheese XL with the onion rings, which I think is a good addition, you know? At least Burger King have got this kind of options. Now the buns, yeah, they could increase the uh, variety of buns, brioche, uh, pretzel, etc. But they're a brilliant burger, I, I think. You've got a flame grilled. Now some people won't agree with that, but they're quarter pound of size. And additionally to the burgers, you've got these, as in the chicken fries, but these are Doritos chicken fries. And I, I think they're really nice. Like they've got a bit of heat to them, a nice crunch to them. Yes. It's processed chicken that you're never going to get away with anything other than processed chicken from a Burger King. They're not going to do, I don't think, um, genuine chicken breast tenders. So they're about as close as you're going to get. Um, but they've got their place. So chicken tenders were nice, if you want to call them that, but chicken fries. Yeah, they're nice, you know, sweet chilli sauce with it. The fries, mm, okay, they're standard fries, fluffy on the inside, crunchy on the outside, so I can't really knock them down for that. But as you see there, I think the burger is, apart from maybe an Angus um, burger or a Whopper, which I know obviously a lot of people is their go-to burger for a Burger King, but I would say the Bacon Double Cheese XL is, you know, hard to be, it's... It's one of their standard burgers at the end of the day. And yes, it's a bit big. Some people say, well, oh, it's too much burger, you, you know. But you go into Burger King, so you may as well have something decent. Um, so I think the, the double cheeseburger, which is two quarter pounders, processed cheese, you know, as again, the bun could be better, uh, with the onion rings and the bacon, I think it's a, it's a quality burger. Definitely hits the spot. So Burger King, I'd say, are still doing it. They're still in the game. They're probably better than most of these up-and-coming kind of uh, gourmet high street burger brands and they've definitely got their place. So I would say as a meal and because of the burger, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching.